Hello, Mr. Baban. Can you expand upon the topic of the method of how citizenship is validated in some Arab countries? Yeah. Um, citizenship in, in the Middle East um, is kind of a hot topic for gender, for gender inequality because in some Middle Eastern countries, um, whether it's Iran, Egypt, um, as far as I know, even Morocco, Algeria, um, Saudi Arabia and until recently Iraq um, had specific uh, regulations for um, children that are born from a foreign father that it, who is not a citizen of the country but uh, with a mom or a mother that is a citizen of the country. So for example if um, uh, an Iraqi woman is married to an American man. The child of the, the child that will be born uh, cannot be an Iraqi citizen. Uh, if, while if an American woman is married to an Iraqi guy, the child can be an Iraqi citizen. So there is this matter of gender equality and the difference between and the difference between being born to a man who is a citizen or a woman who is a citizen. And uh, in Iraq in 2005, the new constitution uh, removed that requirement um, and um, after many requests from women rights organizations that were founded in Iraq after 2003, after the fall of Saddam, um, so I think it's a really good step towards women's rights in an Islamic country as Iraq. Thank you. Now that you have lived in both Iraq and the United States, how do you perceive the strive for gender equality in the Arab world? Um, I think there is good steps going on. Um, like for example in Saudi Arabia there is recently there has been recently a lot of debate about about finally allowing women to drive because for the last 70 or 80 years that cars have been used in all parts of the world women are not allowed to drive in Saudi Arabia uh, and that was a red line that no one could cross or talk about but recently there has been a, a hot debate about uh, even between religious leaders about uh, how discriminating that is to uh, women, even even women who need uh, who need to like make a living, or women who don't have a, who don't have a husband, or women of all kinds of means they can't drive. Um, so that's one thing uh, uh, that has been in the progress and it's a huge step of course for women in Saudi Arabia. In Iraq for example where I'm from uh, there's a lot of movements also for women rights and uh, uh, recently the new election law uh, allocated 26 percent of parliament seats specifically for women that is uh, only two percent less than that of the United States and it is equivalent uh, to the same percentage in many Scandinavian countries such as Poland and New Zealand and, and uh, other uh, developed, well developed countries um, so I think there's a lot of progress going on but there's still a lot more work to do Thank you, Mr. Boban. Thank you.